Virgos, welcome. Doing your heart spread this morning um, for the first half of October, guys. Um, heart spread reads uh, you and who's on your mind, who's in your heart. Kind of look at you and how you're interacting with them. Get some advice on each one and then advice from spirit on the relationship as a whole and an outcome. And <clears throat> try to go as deep as we can with the eight card heart spread. Um, also have up, keep in mind, the soul family reads, a collective read for whoever resonates, if you would. If you resonate with this, check it out. It's a little different read. More focus on manifestation, spirituality, more uh, personal read. Keep, try to keep it short. Do it every morning. Um, see if you feel like you might be part of the soul family. Think Terrence McKenna. Find the others. So here, uh, we're going to start with uh, Five of Swords as your energy right now. Let me go ahead and look at theirs before I say anything. Usually don't do that. Six of Wands. Okay. So, uh, you're coming into this relationship, and I try to use this as a baseline, where you're at yourself, apart from your person, with this combative energy of the Five of Wands. So, probably in the past, you know, you had to set boundaries, you had to defend yourself. Maybe you learned this. Maybe now you feel like I'm going. if I go into another relationship, I'm going in with the tip of my sword first, you know, um, here. Um, on the downside, could be looking uh, for tr uh, trouble to happen, like chip on the shoulder energy, just uh, uh, triggery, uh, and willing to take action on the trigger, like not triggery, like, oh my God, did he just say that? It's like, you did not just say that. Who do you think you're talking to? It'll be very outspoken kind of energy. Now, six of wands. This is your person, where they're at. Um, triumphant somehow. Uh, I, I, when I see this, I, I here I don't know that, you're, that they're younger than you, but they're very beautiful, man or woman. They're very desirable, handsome, however you want to put it. This is someone who probably has a nice body. Um, people look at them. Uh, of any age, they're just desirable. I mean, just look at this. And they kind of have an aura about them, a glow about them. Could definitely be a fire sign. Could definitely read a fire sign here, Virgo uh, person. Um, and, you know, they're up on their horse. they got, look, the laurels. They're, they're riding on their laurels. Um, on the downside of this, this can be a person that uh, was kind of the jock. And now they're not. And again, I get the riding on your laurels. If you're old enough to know what that means, it's like you're not really doing anything anymore. You're just always kind of putting out the energy. Of, well, I used to be a professional ball player. Oh, really? Yeah, I was so and so for the whatever Tigers and this and that. And you know, can be kind of that energy too comes to mind. Four swords, the bottom of the deck. Do read the bottom of the deck now. Just keep it in mind. Um, could be a healing going on here, particularly on your part. If you're coming in a relationship with Five of Wands energy, you need some kind of healing, some kind of closure, um, because it's combative. You know, Seven of Wands, even I could take it. Righteous defense of the castle, you know. It's a little bit uh, more pointed, uh, setting boundaries and stuff like that. This is just seems kind of agitated and kind of waiting for trouble, you know. <laughs> Like, I just dare you. I dare you to do trigger me. And, uh, wow. So this is how, now I like this. So this is the way you react to your person here, Virgo. And the fact that you now are reacting with the Nine of Pentacles, that's fantastic change. Uh, you're coming in as the Five of Wands, and you're, react, you're becoming around them the way they make you feel as the Nine of Pentacles. That's completely whole and balanced within yourself. And, like, you don't, Really the happy bachelorette here, happy bachelor <laughs> card. I think that's a great way uh, for them to make you feel. Um, and that kind of, let's see how you make them feel. Wow. They don't really get you, Virgo. They're into you, but they don't get you. A lot of emotion. So this is a fire sign person. When it comes to you, now they're feeling a lot of emotion. But the moon is something in unknown. And probably they would have this feeling, you know, I got to say, if this is a guy, it's a little uh, maybe cliche, but it's like, you know, I just don't get her. I just don't get her. And his friend would say, dude, they're women. We don't get them. That's how it works, you know, um, but could be like that. Um, 
because I think fire to fire, six of wands to five of wands, you guys had to come in hot and sexual and kind of intense, you know, uh, and kind of love at first sight and immediate and eyes locking and that kind of thing. Um, and then as you get in and react to them, you, you become, it could to them, it, this is not bad, but to them it could feel like, wow, this composure that you have, it could feel a little off-putting like a minute ago, like you were all, you know, entwined and, uh, you know, and now you're just compose yourself and you have this self-contained energy about you. And I think that's what they react to with the moon. They're like, what, what just happened? And, you know, Virgo is Earth, you know. Uh, hello, if you're a cross-watcher, fire sign. Uh, Earth energy self-contained, you know. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. Uh, let's see, three of wands. This is your advice from spirit. Interesting. I don't really understand that spirit. We'll let that sit a minute and look at their advice towards you, the high priestess. Wow. Wow. So I get it with them, with the moon over the high priestess here. Um, it's almost like, I feel like this is clarifying what it is they don't see. The moon is something they don't see, something that throws you off, makes them wonder. Like It's not like a red flag. It's like, you know, it's like just nagging feeling that there's something they're not quite getting about you, something more to you um, than they're grasping. And with the high priestess coming in as advice, it's telling them to use their intuition and it's telling them that what there is about you, Virgo, that's more that they're not getting to me. It's something they're, they're going to access with their intuition, uh, not which is kind of like the combination of feelings and thoughts. Boom, comes out intuition. They're not going to get there with their mind, uh, but they're just going to get this feeling. And for them, it could just be, uh, if I would suggest like, uh, share this or if they're cross watching it's like uh the moon here how does this person how do you feel around this person this virgo because i bet you feel pretty good and it's like that's what this advice is stop and really trust your gut your feelings and you know um uh, that will answer this moon energy that seems unsettled let's get a clarification ten of wands okay so it makes a little more sense three of a lot of wands here with you you know the five of wands is all connected so for you and this is your advice here three of wands clarified by a ten of wands um you're really concerned why you're so combative that you're going to have a repeating cycle with this person which may have involved uh with the five of wands and all these wands repeating i mean it could have been actions could have been uh, ab physical abuse it 100 would be you know, verbal abuse, abuse maybe something pretty harsh and yeah you know, with the advice from spirit it's really saying now finally with the ten of wands um is the three of wands is move on move away from that energy it's not go looking i know it's my dating site card we said i have a days are called three of wands dating but here as advice it's you know, get in the energy of just moving on, living, interacting with this person, loosening up, you know, um, almost think three of cups energy too, you know, getting out and doing things and, you know, instead of being combative, just go out and do something fun together, you know, and then to clarify that the ten of wands is let go of that old cycle of these wands of being so concerned about actions are going to have these negative consequences. And give this new person a chance here. I don't see anything negative. They are the one you're thinking of here, Virgo. Let's see the advice from the spirit for the relationship as a whole. Very similar to last reading with the Queen of Swords. So what's going to take here is a conversation. In order to help you resolve, Virgo, these issues of uh, whatever you felt happened in the past that was basically abusive to you, um, and their advice with the high priestess is they really need to uh, get into their deepest self and their most intuitive self, their wisest self. And they need to interact with you with this Queen of Swords energy, uh, which is not quite as harsh as the King of Swords, but it will be very direct energy. It's both of you sitting down and opening up in a very mature, responsible, um, beautiful manner and going into all this it's at the core of this heart spread 
It's basically saying, if you want a relationship with this person, got to do this. And look at her. She's fine. It, she's not fierce. She's very contemplative. Um, dare I say self-contained. So there's an energy about this with it being swords too, where this is not an emotional fight or anything like that. This is really opening up and talking to each other honestly. And I think you need to tell this person these stories in maybe detail. And your person needs to accept it with, uh, this is Pisces energy, think unconditional love here, cross watcher, you know. Uh, knowing that this person, your Virgo, needs to get this out of them. You need to get this energy out of you. And maybe the way you get it out, it's like a confession. It's like the one thing I like about the Catholic Church, is you could kind of confess it. And you're confessing it to someone here as the high priestess, who is in with the moon even implies they're already emotional. They're trying to understand you. They don't quite get it. I can see why. <clears throat> but they really want to. And so the universe is giving you someone here that sees you, that looks inside of you and goes, Virgo, I see you, I know you, and they're saying, I love you, I want you in my life, and so why not, why not, it's okay, it's okay to have this really mature, wise, open, strong, meaningful conversation, and look at this, guys, King of Pentacles in the end, that's your card, Virgo. So you're going to have, a, based upon this advice from the Queen of Swords that just went over, it creates for you guys a very solid new relationship that's grounded and strong. You know, people will look at you as a very solid couple. They will have no doubt. Um, and there will probably be abundance about you. However, in the two of you make each other stronger. You've got the King and Queen here together, okay? Um, <clears throat> so... And I would also say, Virgo, this uh, outcome of the King of Pentacles is kind of your card here. So it kind of means this relationship overall, it's going to go your way. And I could see this almost from the beginning, especially with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, it's not bad. You know, no relationships are equal. But when, they, when you uh, go to the composite, when you actually have in astrology, and you go from sinistry where they're interacting to blending everything, and you have a relationship, you're going to uh, look at it and go, this relationship suits me really well. The structure of it, the, the way it, they're interacting, the physical aspects of it. And um, I think you're going to have a, a very good feeling about that. It's going to make it feel very stable. And the five of wands very unstable. It's like bad shit could happen any second. Ah, all that's gone. There's complete stability, Virgo. But thank you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Please subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend.